Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday. Today is November 15th. We're so glad you're with us. I can't believe that we're halfway through November already. Crazy. The year is going both slowly and quickly. At the same time. At the very same time. Well, we're going to begin as we always do. We're going to rise together. If you can see a Degel Yisrael, a flag of Israel, we're going to face it. If not, we're just going to rise. Because this is not only the national anthem of the state of Israel, by the way. This is the national anthem of the Jewish people, which is why we all sing it. So let's rise together for Hatikva, page one. Page one, that's my favorite. That is my favorite, too. Excellent work, everyone. You may be seated for just a moment because we're going to talk about the Torah portion. The Torah portion of the week is Toldot. And in fact, it was the Cantor's Bat Mitzvah Torah portion. True. Isn't that amazing? Because remember what I say to everybody, for the rest of your life, people are going to ask you, what was your Bat Mitzvah portion? What, was, what did you read at your Bar Mitzvah? And you're going to have to know, and people are going to expect you to know something about that portion <laughs> as well. Well, this portion is interesting because... Twins are born. Twins. And I don't know if everyone knows this, but I'm a twin. Oh, that's right. I have a twin sister. Her name is Heidi. She lives in Boston. She is not a rabbi. But I do have a twin. So I do like this portion a lot. But I want you to know I tried really hard to treat my twin better than... <laughs> Jacob treats Esau in this parsha. Now, Jacob and Esau have a difficult relationship. And sometimes, brothers and sisters, or brothers and brothers, or sisters and sisters, have difficult relationships because even though they love each other, they live in the same household and they have to share everything. And sometimes, the hardest thing to share in the whole world are parents. Well, and it doesn't help if your parents or someone's parents, like Jacob and Esau's parents, show clear favoritism. The Torah tells us that one parent loved one son and the other parent loved the other son, and that is not a recipe for a functional family. In fact, that is a recipe for disaster. Yeah. But I'm willing to say that all of your parents love you and all of your siblings equally. And I know that I love all of my children equally, but I love them differently. Hmm. Because every child is different, and every child needs a different kind of love. So, when you're sharing everything with your siblings, it can be annoying. But... Remember that they're different people than you and they need a different kind of love than you. So sometimes they get different things than you do. 
And sometimes you get different things than they do because you're different from them and you need different kinds of love. So with our siblings, we need to remember that this shared experience of childhood is something very special. Nobody else in the world except for your siblings are ever going to be your siblings. Other people can be friends, but these are the only siblings that you're going to have so far. So, we need to make room for our siblings, and we need to understand that everyone is different and needs different kind of love. So instead of being upset when, when having to share your parents, just remind yourself, this is the love that my sibling needs. And I love my sibling by letting them have the love that they need. That, I believe, is the message of Toldot. So let's stand up together and praise God. Let God know that we're ready to pray. We'll turn to page three. Page three, that's my favorite. It's my favorite too for Barku. ready to pray to God, so I ask my customary question, how many God is there? One God. Let's turn to page four. Page four, that's my favorite page. For Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad 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 Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Machuto Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Machuto Le'olam ba'et Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Excellent. You may be seated again. Now we're going to talk about the meat of the week. Which is honoring others. And Cantor, in Hebrew it is? Kibud Habariot. And in fact, exactly what we were talking about in the Torah portion is the theme, the essence of this midah. The essence of this value. Because sometimes people we know, especially the ones we love the most, make it hard for us to love them. Not everyone's nice all the time. Sometimes people borrow things without asking. Sometimes people give us boundaries or even 
say no to us. And that is hard. But that is why it's so important to honor them. We honor them because, guess what? Sometimes we are annoying too. You and I borrow things without permission. We talk too much. We talk too loud. We say no. We break our promises. And so we honor the relationships that we have and the people that we know because we know that no one is perfect. Now, when people we don't know or people who are different from us need to be honored, sometimes that's even harder. Because if you don't have a relationship with them, mm. you need to find a way to honor them just because. Now, we know that every human being is created in the image of God, which is called in Hebrew, B'Tselem Elohim. B'Tselem Elohim. And so we have to honor everyone we meet because inside every person is this little bit of God, a God reflection, a God spark, or a spirit. And so we honor God by honoring other people. And in fact, sometimes the Talmud tells us, the more a person is different from us, the easier it is to see the divine spark. Because we see ourselves and all the people who look familiar to us all the time. But when we see somebody who's different from us, we get to see that incredible godliness inside of them because it's something unusual. But no matter what people look like or how different or how similar they are, we all have that one thing in common. And that is why we need to honor everyone. So, we're also going to talk about the Hebrew word of the day, which is father. And Cantor, how do you say father in Hebrew? Abba. And what does Abba mean in English? Father. And how are we going to remember that? Abracadabra, your father disappeared. Abracadabra, even though it's really abracadabra. Look. We're going to say abracadabra. Abacadabra. 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 Close enough. Because father in Hebrew is? Abba. And Abba in English is? Father. Excellent. And so now we're going to return to our Sidorim. We're going to return to our prayer books to what is the central portion of our worship, <coughs> tefillah. And tefillah means prayer. Tefillah is also called amidah, which means standing. So this is one of those prayers we stand up for. So let's stand up together. Page six. That's my favorite page. Baruch Adonai, 
Velo he nu, Velo he avotenu, Vimotenu, Elo he Abraham, Elo he Yitzhak, Velo he Yaakov, Elo he Sarah, Elo he Rivka, Elo he Rachel, Velo he Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor ve'hanora El elyon gomel chasadim tovim Ve'konei ha'kol ve'zocher chastei avot ve'imahot U'mevi ge'ula livne v'nehem Leman shemo be'ahava Melech ozer umoshia umayen Baruch atah Adonai Magen Avraham ve'ezrat sarah Page 7 Ata gibor le'olam Adonai Mechaye hakol atah Rav Lehoshia, Mashiv Haruach, Umorid Hagashem, Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim, So Mech Noflim, Verofe Cholim, Umatir asurim, um kayem emunato li shene afar. Micha mocha baal gevurot, umido melach, melech memit. Um chaye, um atz mi ach Yeshua, ven emanat al hachayot hakol, baruch atah Adonai, mechaye hakol. Page eight. Page eight. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Remember, there's some choreography here too. Do we want to go over it? Let's go over it, okay? So, at the beginning, in the end of the first paragraph, we first bow to the left. When we say, Vikara, then we bow to the right. Vikara. And then um, we bow to the middle. And then we stand up straight and we go to our tippy toes. Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh. So, Vikara, Zel, El, Zel, Amar, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Sounds good. Ne Kadesh, Chimcha, Baolam, Keshem, Shemati, Shimo, Tobish, Memarom, Kakatu, Vaya, Nevieha. Vikarase el seve amor, kadosh kadosh kadosh, Adonai tsevahot, melochol haaretz kevodo, adir adirenu Adonai Adoninu ma. Baruch <laughs> Ani Adonai Eloheichem Yimloch Adonai Leolam Eloheich Tzion 
Let door by door, hallelujah. Let door by door, 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 Nagi Gadlecha. Le door va door, 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 nagi gad lecha. Ulek netzach netzachim, kedushat echa nakish, kedushat echa nakish. Veshim hacha Eloheinu mi, pinu lo yamush, leolam, leolam vaed. Le door va door, 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 na gigad lecha. Le door va door, 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 na gigad lecha. Excellent work, everyone. You may be seated. We're going to conclude today with Hine Matov, which can be found on page 12. Page 12, that's my favorite page. And this is a call and response. So today we're going to try it where I'm going to sing it, and the cantor's going to respond, and all you guys are going to respond with the cantor. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Hine. Mato, Mato, Uma, Uma, Nahim, Nahim, Shevedachim, Shevedachim, Gam, Yachai. Let's try it again. Hine, Hine, Mato, Mato, Uma, Uma, Nahim, Nahim, Shevedachim, Shevedachim, Gam, Yachai. He ne mato, umanahi, shevedahi, gam yaha, he ne mato, umanahi, shevedahi, gam yaha, gam yaha, he ne mato. Uma, Uma, Naim, Naim, Shevedachim, Shevedachim, Gam Yachad. One more time. Hine, Hine, Mato, Mato, Uma, Uma, Naim, Naim. Shevedachim, Shevedachim, Gam Yachad. Happy Sunday, everyone! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday.